To discount a charge from the payment screen, go to Operations, Payments, click on the respective tenant. In this particular case, this tenant has multiple units, so instead of all units, you'll need to click on the particular unit. For example, Z152, click on Z152, and there's a button in the bottom right-hand corner that says Edit Charges and Payments. Click on Edit Charges and Payments. If you create a charge, choose the particular item, for example, the admin fee. The admin fee, the default amount in this particular case is 25. Click Add New Charge. Are you sure you want to add it? Yes. There you'll see the $25 and we can discount it. We could put in a discount of 10. Click OK. In the settings for this database, it's requiring us to enter a reason for the discount. Click OK. Type in your reason, whatever that may be. Click OK. And then click OK again on the main section of the payment screen. Are you sure you want to complete this transaction? Yes. If we go back into that unit, it's important to realize that a discount is created when you're adding the charge. When we added the charge, the discount field was enabled. You'll notice that the other charges that were there previously, you do not have the ability to click on discount. You have to give a credit. So that is the basic difference between a discount and a credit. A credit is added after the fact. A discount is created once the charge is added. After the charge is added and the payment screen is exited or it is the next day, you have to give a credit. A credit is applied to a charge. A typical example would be waiving a late fee. You are paying it off without money with a credit. Where a discount, you're reducing the charge itself. The charge itself is now less. So in this case for the admin fee, we did not end up having a charge of 25. The true charge that we see on the tenant's account is 15. Whereas if it was a credit, we would have saw a charge of 25 with a credit of 10 resulting in the end amount that the customer owes is 15, but they were charged 25 in the credit example. So that's the basic difference. With a discount, you are charged less from the beginning, whereas with a credit, you are charged the full amount and you are applying a payment that is not cash, check, or credit card. In the bottom left-hand corner, we could also have a discount plan, which would typically be for rent or it can be for any fee that you choose. Simply choose the discount plan and then click OK to finalize. Instead of clicking in the discount column, you choose a plan from the list.